Cut, uncut, uncuts. The uncut, no smuts. No, you know uncut, no about? smut. No smuts around here. If you got smut on your name, man, you, you got to come up here and you, clean it up. You got to clean it you up. You got to clean it up. You might not even make it, but I know it's a few niggas out there got bad raps, man. You know, if it really ain't you, you know what I'm saying? Come on, uncut, no smut, man, and clean it up, man. But go ahead, man. Go ahead. Do your thing. Yeah, I'm Molly Maul, man. Also known as Molly McInair, you know, out of Sacramento, California. South side, Metaview to be exact, 665 side. You know, I came up, a young dude running around the hood, meeting everybody that was from the hood. Before that, there was a lot of Crips in the hood, you know what I mean? By way of uh, Cadillac Tone and 29th Street was down the street, 24th Street was right down the street too. And uh, everybody, back in the days was all together, was just all the Gorilla Gardens. And uh, What's the Gorilla Gardens? The Gorilla Gardens is the south area of Sacramento. And uh, from Metaview all the way to, I wanna say like Power Inn and, and all that, it might be a little bit further, but everything in between that, that's the gardens. From Metaview all the way down to Mac Road to Power Inn. And it consisted of what, like niggas game banging, but they wasn't Bloods and Crips yet. They wasn't Bloods and Crips yet. Everybody was break dancing back in the day, mm -hmm. <laughs> pop locking and and doing that type of stuff and partying. What year was this around? This was like, I want to say like eighty seven, eighty six. Then, you know, but everybody knows that the drugs came into play around that time and. That's when the colors came and everything. LA came to sack. It was it was a lot of Crips coming. It was a little bit of bloods coming. And then everything just switched up. It kind of flipped around and and everybody was gang banging now instead of pop locking and kicking it. So now you got the Crips right here, you got the bloods over here. Wait, so before the before the Crips and the Bloods started. Cadillac Tone was in Meadowview, wasn't no Crippin' and no blood, right? It was it it, it wasn't too much Crippin' and blood and when uh Cadillac Tone came. But he brought the Crips. But he brought the Crips. It, it was he, all they was Crips. <laughs> when he came, he brought the Crips. Yeah. They was claiming sixties, right? They was claiming sixties. So did did he influence Sacramento niggas to claim sixty Crip? No, because it was already it was it was the gardens had some Crips already. And then once it 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 became too much because back then it was it was a, the only sets that was around was really Oak Park and in in the Heights. And they was funk lords and, and dog catchers and stuff like that. When it came when it when the colors came to my hood, that's when that Cadillac Tone was there. They, 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 they was bringing all the work. So he was putting on 29th Street, and a lot of a lot of my guys from my hood wasn't feeling that all these Crips was coming through there, and they was trying to punk everybody and and make everything Crips. So everybody went to war after that. My guys started a war where. It was it was Metaview Bloods, MVB. Once MVB started shooting, it it, it, it it was like we was the littlest hood, but everybody was smashing. So who was the first members of, of uh, Metaview Bloods? Marcus McAfee, uh, Vaughn, Boule, rest in peace, rest in peace, Marcus McAfee. Uh, it was uh, Big Molly, KK, KJ. It was, it was, it was, it's a slew of whole, a whole bunch of my guys, you know, and everybody was, everybody was putting in work after that. So when you say putting in work, uh, what was it, we, we talking about niggas was like getting knocked out. It wasn't really no gunplay too much back then or what? It was, it was minimal. It was probably, it was gunplay, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like 
super gun play. It was more a lot of beat downs, catching cat, a lot of cats getting jumped and stomped out at the at the liquor stores and at the little corner stores and stuff like that. And then it started after after too much of that got on. Then it was it was a whole bunch of gun play. So when the, did the when the gun play have started happening? Because I heard about this, you know, I, I remember seeing Cadillac Tone, and I remember seeing how he was moving. He had a, a crew of niggas following him. He, had, he was in tight cars, two, three car deep, wearing all blue. He was standing out like he was, a, a, you know, a baby god around there, right? Yeah. But then the nigga got shot. Now, now, before, but before he got shot, did the gunplay kick off before he got shot, or did the gunplay kick off? When he got shot, the, when gunplay was kicking off before he got shot. Oh, is that right? Yeah, before he got before he before he got unalived, that's when all the gunplay really really started. It was a whole bunch of it was a whole bunch of drive-by shootings. It was a whole bunch of just everything going on everywhere. That's when everything got serious. Would you 